a comet from another star is racing through our solar system. It's moving at 58 kilometers per second, faster than anything born under our sun, and it's not behaving like any comet we've ever seen. When 3i slash Atlas first appeared in July 2025, telescopes lit up, headlines exploded, and the internet filled with wild theories. Alien probes, neon green flares, impossible outbursts. But behind the hype, scientists saw something even stranger, real data that defied expectations. A nucleus smaller than predicted. An age older than the solar system itself. A chemistry so violent and alien that it challenges the rules of planetary science. And as 3i slash Atlas races toward its closest approach, one question remains. What is this visitor really made of? And what secrets does it carry from another star? On July 1, 2025, the Atlas Survey Telescope in Rio Hurtado, Chile, caught a faint speck sliding against the background stars. Within hours, computers recognized that something about this track didn't fit. When the team submitted its measurements to the Minor Planet Center, the orbital solution that came back was unmistakable. The path wasn't closed. It was hyperbolic. No amount of gravitational tweaking could curve it back into an orbit around the sun. This was not a local wanderer. It was an interstellar intruder, bound for a single pass through our neighborhood before vanishing forever. The numbers told the story. A velocity of 58 km s relative to the sun, nearly twice the escape speed of our solar system. No comet born here can reach that speed on its own. The only way to get a trajectory this open is to start somewhere else entirely. Within 24 hours, observatories worldwide confirmed it. Older survey frames from Atlas and the Zwicky Transient Facility traced it back to mid-June. Each new data point tightened the orbit, locking in the designation 3i slash Atlas the third confirmed interstellar object ever found. But numbers alone weren't what made it extraordinary. Tracing the orbit backward showed no connection to any known solar system source. It came from the emptiness between the stars, a traveler from deep time, perhaps 3 to 11 billion years old, born before Earth itself had formed. For astronomers, that age is staggering. If those models are right, 3i slash Atlas was drifting in interstellar darkness long before our sun ignited. Dust from some long-forgotten star condensed into ice, froze solid, and then, after billions of years, was flung outward, a relic carrying chemistry from an extinct system. Unlike the famous Taumuamua, which flashed past before anyone could focus, this time we caught the intruder early. That meant an entire scientific campaign could unfold while it was still inbound. Telescopes on every continent, Hubble, and even the James Webb Space Telescope itself. Time, finally, was on humanity's side. Before its official discovery, the TESS spacecraft had already photographed the right region of sky. When scientists re-examined those frames, they found something subtle but astonishing. 3i slash Atlas was already brightening. Not exploding, not flaring, just a slow, steady rise in light. That gentle increase meant the surface ices were already sublimating, turning directly from solid to gas. Even while the comet was 4.5 AU from the sun, far colder than where water ice normally wakes up, the culprit had to be more volatile materials, carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, maybe even exotic gases frozen since the dawn of the galaxy. The message was clear, this wasn't a dead rock. It was alive, heating, venting, and slowly building the glowing coma that would soon make it visible to the world. By the end of June, its brightness had risen fivefold, enough to trigger a global scramble for telescope time. On July 21st, the Hubble Space Telescope locked onto the moving target, at nearly 60 km per second, even Hubble's optics struggled to keep up, 
background stars stretched into streaks. But at the center of the blur lay the prize, the nucleus itself. Early guesses had imagined a giant, 10-kilometer-wide body. Hubble's data shattered that idea. After subtracting the dust glow, the nucleus appeared tiny, between 0.4 and 5.6 kilometers across, probably closer to one. That's small enough to fit inside Manhattan. And yet, it's still a mountain of rock and ice, massive enough to launch jets of gas and survive violent heating. Those measurements ended the Wilder theories. No colossal spacecraft, no hidden asteroid. 3i slash Atlas was a comet, small, dense, and naturally active. But its chemistry remained a mystery. In early August 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope turned its infrared eye toward the visitor. Its NERSPEC instrument broke the faint glow of the coma into a chemical barcode, and what it revealed shocked researchers. Most comets wake up when water ice sublimates. 3i slash Atlas was powered by Co and Co2, with water only a minor trace. That ratio is unheard of. It means the comet formed in a place so cold and distant that carbon dioxide froze solid, a region beyond the water ice line of its parent star. Its gases vent in explosive bursts, throwing dust toward the sun instead of away from it, creating a thin sun-facing plume that breaks every rule of comet behavior. Those vents act like geysers, triggered when buried pockets of CO2 rupture under sunlight. Each burst sends jets of gas rocketing outward, dragging dust grains that reflect light back toward the star. To astronomers, this is priceless data, proof, that 3i slash Atlas carries alien chemistry from another solar nursery, preserved for billions of years. It's not just a comet. It's a chemical fossil from a world we'll never see. By late August, Gemini South in Chile joined the campaign. Its spectrograph picked up a faint, thin tail, and inside that tail, the signature of CN, cyanogen gas glowing in the sunlight. In normal comets, cyanogen is joined by another molecule, C2, giving a familiar green hue. But in 3i slash Atlas, C2 was almost absent. The measured ratio was less than 0.1, making it one of the most carbon-chain-depleted comets ever observed. That depletion means it likely formed far from its parent star, or it spent eons bombarded by cosmic rays in interstellar space. Either way, its chemistry is unlike anything in our own solar system. Every new instrument added another piece to the puzzle, painting a picture of a body both familiar and utterly foreign, a comet that shouldn't exist yet clearly does. Polarimetry teams from observatories in Chile, Spain, and Bulgaria pointed their instruments at the comet's halo to study how its dust scattered sunlight. What they found stunned them. The polarization, the way light waves align after bouncing off dust, plunged to 2.77% at small angles, twice as deep as any comet ever measured. This means the dust grains are large, dark, and extremely porous, built from fragile aggregates of ice and organic material. Even more unusual, the inversion point where polarization flips positive happened at only 17 degrees, something never seen in a comet. It suggests the dust of 3i slash Atlas formed under conditions colder and older than any region in our solar system a microscopic fingerprint of the space between the stars. When amateur astronomers joined the hunt during the lunar eclipse of early September, social media erupted. Photos seemed to show a green glow around the comet, the classic color of diatomic carbon. But professional spectra didn't confirm it. The apparent green may have been a camera artifact, exaggerated by the unusual lighting of the eclipse. Without calibration stars, no one can be sure. It's a reminder that in astronomy, the first image is only the beginning. Evidence must survive the light of scrutiny. Inevitably, 
Avi Loeb's name entered the discussion. He and others proposed that the early brightness and odd orbit might hint at something artificial. But new data shrank the nucleus, refined the orbit, and showed dust loss rates that matched normal comet physics. With each update, the exotic possibilities faded, replaced by something just as exciting, a natural object obeying natural laws, but crafted in a part of the galaxy we've never touched. It's not about dismissing bold ideas, it's about letting the evidence decide. And so far, every test has led back to the same conclusion. 3i slash Atlas is extraordinary and perfectly real. Three interstellar objects in less than a decade, and each one tells a different story. Taumuamua, the dry, tumbling riddle with no coma. 2i slash Borisov, the textbook comet bright and familiar. 3i slash Atlas, active, volatile, alien in chemistry and light. Together they form a spectrum, from the mysterious to the ordinary to the beautifully strange. And with every visitor, the boundaries of what's possible widen a little more. Now all eyes are on October 30th, 2025, when 3i Atlas sweeps through perihelion, only 1.4 AU from the sun. For several weeks it will disappear into daylight, hidden by glare. Then as it re-emerges in December, the great observatories, Soho, Maven, Spherex, Hubble and James Webb will resume the chase. Will it survive the heat? Will it fragment into pieces? Or will it hold together, glowing brighter than ever as it escapes into the void? Each outcome would teach us something profound about how matter behaves between the stars. For now, 3i slash Atlas continues its silent sprint past the sun, a grain of ancient memory crossing our path for a moment and then vanishing forever. Its chemistry, its dust, its light, all of it tells us that the galaxy is alive with travelers like this, each carrying the fingerprints of its own forgotten world. We may never touch its surface, but through the eyes of our telescopes, we've already touched its story. A frozen messenger from another star, reminding us how vast, how connected, and how mysterious our universe still is.